Hey, what's going on everyone? Joe Menza here. And I did this little one in my sketchbook the other day and I posted it. And people were asking me, is there a video? They want to see how it was done. I just thought it was a quick little sketch here. I used a different palette. I used the core palette. And I did it really fast in like five minute time. And so I thought, well, we'll, we'll do this again. And I'll show you kind of how I did it um, very quickly within five minutes. So let's jump over to a fresh page. And I'll clip this off. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water. I like to pour water in these little reservoirs here. And we'll go ahead and, I don't know how this got messed up right here, but that's okay. Go ahead and wet this down, dab off the excess and wipe off the excess. So we just have a thin film of water there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll grab some blue. Make it very watered down. And we'll go ahead and make a few little clouds up here. Put a little red in there. Make a little, just a quick cloud feature there. And we put a little bit of water in down here. And then we'll go ahead and grab a little bit of that purple color. And I have made a little mountain like here. And then what I did was I went ahead and I just took a little bit off to kind of give this a little dimension to it. It's still a little wet, so it's kind of blooming a little there. If you want to, if you want to wait a little bit to dry, that's, that's all good. And then what I did was I took some brown and I went ahead and I made, this is in the way. I went ahead and I made a little bit of a mountain pattern coming down here. And then I took a little, let's take a little bit of little sort of a yellow raw sienna -y color. Make a little bit of a land there. And then what I did was I made a little bit of a watery, let's make a greeny color. And then I dropped in a few little bushes and trees. And then I took and I kind of made a little bit of a border to hold the water in so it doesn't escape. And uh, I went in and I touched up a little bit, but you don't want to go over this too much because that's what uh, leads to, you know, fill this in a little bit. If you don't touch anything and you let it go really fast, It'll look more natural, it won't be muddy. Let's put a little little bit of a land mass in here and scratch in some rocks. Put in a few little little things here. And uh, that's it. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. If you wanted to, you could, actually, if this is still wet, scrape in a little bit. It's kind of, kind of dry now, so let's see. We'll scrape in a little bit here. Scrape in a little bit there. Pull this down. It looks like looks like there's some shadows there. Well, it's still wet. That's what's important to get that natural look. And look at that. We have a very very natural looking scene. I can kind of. Spread this out a little bit if you have a dry brush. Make it look like there's little shadowy things happening. And that's it. It's just a quick little sketchbook. Not the greatest thing ever, obviously, but it's fun. Make you work things out before you do a larger one. So that's it. Thanks for your interest in this one. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.